Hello and welcome to the Cables Mass. Did you know that you can use the Arturia Bitstep Pro to uh, convert MIDI to CV even when you don't use it as a sequencer? If you did, then please close this video immediately. If you didn't, then maybe I can help you. So, um, the first thing we have to check is that the MIDI channel is correct. So I set up my Bitstep Pro to receive on MIDI channel 5 and my square pyramid is sending on channel 5. So when uh, the sequencers are not playing, the uh, playing in live mode on the pyramid on or any other external hardware will uh, immediately be translated to CV. However, if I play the, uh, if I let the transport go on the Beatstep Pro, this won't work anymore. So what you need to do in order to enable it again is to uh, is mute the track. So if you mute the track, external MIDI will still be translated to CV. Uh, what this also means is that you can, for instance, have a sequence played on a recorded sequence on the Beatstep Pro, and then when you mute it, you can start playing with external hardware again. So, interesting. Um, apart from this, uh, their Beatstep Pro contains several uh, drum triggers, drum gates. Um, unluckily, the drum track cannot be played uh, live via external hardware. So if you play it via external MIDI, it won't be converted to CV. In order to uh, use the gate, you need to have a sequence on the Bitstep Pro. Okay, another thing I wanted to show you is um, how to um, use the Bitstep Pro to control the, use the pads on the Bitstep Pro to play uh, notes, record notes on the pyramid, and the pyramid will still use the Bitstep Pro as a MIDI to CV control, uh, converter. So in order to do this, we, um, we have the Bitstep Pro playing on a MIDI channel, which is also received in the channel by the, um, uh, by the pyramid. What we want to avoid is MIDI echo. In order to avoid MIDI echo, we need to go into the pyramid settings. MIDI echo is in stop echo. This will make sure that the notes that are being played by the beat step won't be sent back to the beat step. So once this is done, if I if I now let the let the sequencer go and start recording, if I tap on the beat step. it will record it. So what I played on the beat step is recorded on the pyramid and uh, also played back through the, its MIDI to CV converter. That was all I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching.